online discrimination. If somebody treats you differently because they think you belong to a certain group of people, this is unlawful discrimination. Whether it is about your age, gender, race, the disabilities that you may have, your religion, your lifestyle choice, it doesn't matter. And there is no difference to saying it in person or saying it online. Online violence against women is an overt expression of the gender discrimination and inequality that exists offline. Online, it becomes amplified. The most common direct discriminatory incidents we hear of are people saying, Oh, people have said mean or rude things about me because of my race. People have shown me a racist image online. People have cracked jokes about people or my race online. People have shown me degrading images of women online. I have been labeled because of the clothing I am wearing in a picture I have posted online. I have been sent a me walking my disability. I have been excluded from a group chat because I am a woman. People have threatened me online because I have spoken about a subject that wasn't well received because I am a woman and should know who I am. I have been people have threatened me online because I have spoken about a subject that wasn't well received because I am a woman and should know nothing. Hmm. I have been told to be quiet. A woman's place is barefoot, pregnant, and in the kitchen. I have been told that I am confused as I am a lesbian and I need to choose a gender. People have told me that. The world doesn't need any more gay people. I should jump off a cliff. Really? Frequent context for these experiences was social networking, which as a woman makes one feel inferior, targeted, and labeled. The kind of hurt that discrimination causes runs deep and can take a long time to heal. Before speaking out, it is important to take your time to understand the way the internet works and understand how powerful social media is. Digital literacy and understanding terminology is very important. Without this knowledge, we don't even know that we are victims. There are ways that we can remain safe online and avoid being discriminated against. If you intend to be anonymous, stay anonymous. If you don't want to comment, there is on some platform an option to disable them. If you don't mean to share it, what you did, know what to expect. Don't, re don't bother reply to meaningless comments. Don't get into arguments. Expose the abuse and the what. Help others and tell your real life stories to move the virtual world. Telling your story can help a cause move forward. Knowing this, feel proud if your story and use the opportunity to share your views. Freedom of speech is a common right we all share, but being listened to is a privilege. So if your story made waves, keep going.